What's up everyone? So we're just gonna get right into today's video. Don't mind this. It was just a pimple that I popped. So basically, one of the light bulbs in my climate control went out. So only like half of it lights up right now. And I went ahead and ordered some LEDs for them. Um, but I'm not sure if they're gonna fit, if they're gonna work. But I guess we'll just give it a shot and we'll see. All right, so basically what we're gonna have to do is remove this shifter bezel, um, disconnect the cigarette lighter um, little harness that's in the back. I'm gonna pull these knobs off and then there's gonna be some screws and then we'll be able to take off the face of this and then get into the back of it where the LEDs or where the bulbs are at. These two screws and then those two screws. All right, after removing the screws, you should just be able to pull from the bottom and then the whole like bezel would kind of just come off. Just tug on it a little bit. It's all really just held in by like plastic tabs. All right, and then you could disconnect the clock harness, but I'm kind of lazy, so I'm just gonna leave it up there and let it sit there. Cause we're just gonna focus on this bottom part, which is probably the trickiest because there's like no space down there unless you have like small hands or something. Let me just show you what it looks like at the bottom. I've already um, went ahead and disassembled the whole thing just to have an idea of what it would look like. So right there, this is where there would be a screw. Um, same thing with the other side, but you see the space is pretty tight so I didn't even bother to put the screw back in because it is held in right there by that little white plastic tab too, so it just kind of clips in. Basically you want to remove the screw that's right there and on the other side as well and then unplug this white harness and then you should just be able to unclip this bottom portion pretty easily. Alright, so as you can see, I've pulled down this black part off from the bottom, unplug that harness. Um, if you can't get the harness out, you could just grab like a pair of like tweezers or something, and then you could take that harness out. So basically just untap this bottom portion, and then there's going to be two screws right there that I've already taken out. And then now you could just kind of take off this whole face, and then just unhook that middle part. And now you have the motherboard or whatever you want to call it. And finally, the bulb is right there, those two top ones. I just realized I forgot to show you what the lighting looks like before I took it apart, but here's what it looks like. As you can see, this one's burnt out and this one's not. So yeah, the climate control is basically um, lit up by just these two bulbs. So right now, only like half of it is lit up and then the other half is just dim and dark. So, I bought some LEDs, and I'm really hoping that these are gonna fit, but I'm not 100% sure. So yeah, it's a pretty big hassle, honestly, just to get to these two little bulbs, because you have to take them out from the back, and they did, you know, all this. But just unscrew it, lefty Lucy. This is what the OEM bulb is supposed to look like. It's just some dinky bulb. So I did do my research, um, and a lot of people in the forums were saying that these are like T5 bulbs. I do have the part number for this, but they're like, I think five or seven dollars for each, which is kind of overpriced. And then I got four of these for like seven dollars, but we'll see if these fit. Ah, oh, fuck me. These don't fit. At least because the head is too big. And this little opening is too small. Hmm. Okay, so I just did a little more research on LEDs in general. And check this out. So that's the new bulb that I bought. And that's the old one. So yeah, I think this one, the regular bulb, is a little, like, brighter. Just because it's able to spread out the light. Whereas this one is just an LED on top. Um, but we'll see what it looks like once we put the cover back on. Hmm, okay, so the camera doesn't really pick it up too well, but as you can see, the light distribution is not that great as this part doesn't really light up. It's mainly just this area right here, and then that's the regular bulb that still kind of lights up that area. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna order some more LEDs 
that have like more squares on them rather than just the one on top. That way I'd probably get better light distribution. And then I'll show you guys how I retrofitted them into the stock little base. All right, so it's been a few days now and the new LEDs just came in. These are the new LEDs that I bought. As you can see, they have the LED squares all around instead of just at the top. So right here, I've already fitted the LED onto the original base. This is what the LED is supposed to look like. All I did to separate the LED from the base was I grabbed like an X-Acto knife or something sharp and then I just went in these four corners and I just kind of pried, pried them out like that. Also unbent the wires right here. So as you can see in the original, the wires are folded over. Just unbend them and then once you pry them out, you should be able to just pull them right out like that. And then the original bulbs are gonna be the same thing. They're thinner wires, but I guess use your fingernail or like some tweezers and just pry those wires out and then you should be able to pull them out too. All right, so after you take out the bulb, it should look something like this. That's the original bulb and that's the original base. Basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold the original base through the other side and then just stick these prongs through these holes and then rewrap them on the other side. Um, if they don't light up, pull them out again and then switch them around and see if they work. Uh, but it definitely works because I've already tried this one and it lights up. It is a little bit tedious just cause they're pretty small, but it's definitely doable. These wires are a little bit thicker, so they might be a little bit harder to screw in. Uh, what you could do is you grab some pliers and just hold it on right there and then just twist and it will twist right on. But here it is. And I'm gonna go ahead and go inside and plug it in. All right, moment of truth. There we go. They both light up. I noticed this right side, the top is burnt out, but it shouldn't be a big deal. I could replace it or I could just leave it as is. As you can see, it's definitely a lot brighter than the stock little bulbs. It's not going to be perfect because the whole climate control thing is just lit up by two bulbs. There is a little bit of a hot spot right here, um, just cause the bulb is actually like right behind it. Over here is actually pretty okay. I did put a piece of white paper behind that just so it could even it out. I tried doing it here too, but it didn't work too well and it just looked kind of funny. So I just left it as is. Um, you know, it's really up to you on how you want to do it. And if you're really picky about it, for me, it doesn't really bother me as long as everything's lit up and nice and bright that's all it really matters but yeah anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial um you know shout out to the guys on the forums though that's where i really got the idea from um i just made it into like a video version of it but yeah um i chose amber just because i wanted the whole um dash to be lit orange um if you want you can have that white and then that way the blue would actually be blue right now it's kind of it's kind of dim but i like it i think it looks better i don't have a burnt out bulb anymore anyways hope this was useful um it's just a little doi thing if i can do it you guys can definitely do it it's really not that hard the only thing is the space is kind of tight and like you know everything's kind of small so it is a little bit harder in that case um but overall it's pretty straightforward and it should be a breeze. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.